Okay, so this video is on how to check your uh, credit file, your like your credit score, your credit report to see what's on, on file for you. Now, this information applies to Canadians. In Canada, there's two um, credit reporting agencies. One of them is called Equifax and the other one's called TransUnion. So basically these two credit reporting agencies, like anytime, anytime you apply for a credit card, apply for a loan, apply for a mortgage, go to open a bank account or something like that, they're gonna check your credit file to see your credit worthiness, to see how good you are at paying back, uh, paying your bills. So anytime you make a bill payment, such as uh, anything from paying your phone bill to paying your car loan or anything like that, anytime you make a bill payment, not all those agencies, but most credit granting agencies will report to um, either Equifax or TransUnion credit bureaus here in Canada and they will tell them basically how good you are at paying your bills on time. So if you pay your bills, if you pay all your bills on time, uh, I think the rating is an R1, which means that uh, you pay your bills on time. And um, your credit rating can go to anywhere from the R1 down to an R9. An R9 basically means that you're in default and that bill has gone to collections. Now the credit bureaus, they'll keep inf personal information on you such as your name, your date of birth, your social insurance number, your current address as well as previous addresses you've lived at and your phone number. And again, it will state um, how good you are at paying your bills. Now, any kind of information, whether it be positive or negative information, goes in your credit file for six years. So if you're late on a bill payment or you don't pay a bill altogether, it's gonna stay in your credit file for six years. At the same time, if you're good at paying your bills, it will also show in your credit file for six years. Now, the one exception, also if someone gets a judgment against you, judgment basically means that they took you to court to sue you for an unpaid bill and um, you didn't pay up on it, so they can go to court to get a judgment. With the judgment, they can do things like garnish your wages and all that. In other words, take a percentage of your wages that you earn at work. They can do that through a court order. If you happen to go bankrupt, the first time you go bankrupt in Ontario, it stays on your credit file for seven years. If you go bankrupt more than one time, then each subsequent time after the first time, it will stay on your credit file for 14 years. So it's in your best interest to keep your, um, keep your credit record as clean as possible because it can affect everything from you being able to get a credit card to opening a bank account to even renting an apartment. They're gonna check your credit bureau. And yes, here in the province of Ontario, Canada, Landlords do have the right to turn you down for an apartment rental if your credit record's not good enough. Either that or they might even ask you for, um, for a cosigner. So, um, like for example, if you want to contact Equifax, for example, Equifax's phone number is 1-800-465-7166.
You can call Equifax at that number to order your credit file. Or to call TransUnion, you can call TransUnion at 1-800-663-9980. And to order your credit file by mail, by snail mail, from e to order it from Equifax, it's P.O. Box 190, Station uh, Jean Talon, or John Talon, the French way of pronouncing it. Montreal, Quebec, H1S 2Z2. Or to order your credit file by snail mail from TransUnion, um, you can write to TransUnion at TransUnion of Canada, P.O. Box 338, LCDI, Hamilton, Ontario, L8L. 7W2. Or to order your credit file by email online from Equifax, it's www.equifax.ca. Or to order your TransUnion uh, credit file. To order your TransUnion credit file by um, Online, it's www.transunion.ca. Now, when you do go to order your credit file, the pieces of information they might ask you for, they can ask you for um, your social insurance number, your date of birth, and if you order by mail, they'll also ask you to... Um, mail in at least two copies of two pieces of government issued photo ID such as um, your driver's license or sometimes they might want to see a current utility bill but you can get that information for sure by checking online or phoning those numbers it's a good idea to check your credit file at least once a year. You're welcome to check it more than once a year if you want. Just to make sure that everything on your credit file is accurate, like your address and your name and everything. But more importantly, to make sure that no one has stolen your identity, that no one is, um, no one is out there falsely using your name to get credit cards or loans or that kind of thing. And if you see anything, any kind of misinformation in your credit file, like this is what the form looks like from Equifax, you can get this form from, you'll receive this form from Equifax along with your credit file where you can um, change any information that's inaccurate. Or if you um, feel that your, your identity has been stolen and someone's out there doing fraudulent uh, transactions in your name, you can also um, contact Equifax regarding that, um, regarding that information and get all that changed. And you can do the same thing here as well with uh, TransUnion. If you dispute anything that you see in your credit file, um, you can also write to TransUnion. You can also receive a form from TransUnion. And you can again um, let them know that that information on your um, credit file is inaccurate. Now all that contact information, phone numbers, email addresses, snail mail addresses. I will be putting those in the description of my video so you can check that out if you need to, um, if you need that information again. And also another thing you can do too, I'm not too sure with TransUnion, but I know for a fact with Equifax, 
I'm guessing you can probably do a TransUnion, but Equifax for sure. You can also get your actual credit score. So you can find out what your actual credit score is. Now to receive your credit files from TransUnion and Equifax, it's free of charge. Plus of course postage if you're um, mailing away to get your, um, your credit files. But for an additional charge, I think it's around 10 or $11 with Equifax, you can give them 10 or 11, pay, pay them 10 or $11 to get your um, actual credit score. The reason I'm making this video, it's just that a lot of people, some people, their credit's a mystery to them. They might not know why they didn't get a certain loan or why their credit limit's not raised. So it's good information to know on how, how to check your credit uh, file.